Hi! In this lesson, we're going to look at how we can add more items to our canvas in order to create more elaborate images. But first, let's take a look at the color options we have when we use Python graphics. Right now, we're starting out with a 400 by 200 canvas with a blue background. We're simply using the color name blue, but what if we wanted a lighter blue? Well, one option we have is to use the color name light blue instead of blue but this still only gives us a minimal number of options for a light blue background. Another way we can color items in Python graphics is by using the hex code of a specific color. Hex codes are created by combining three codes of two characters each that tell how much red, blue, and green exists in the color. So if we wanted to use this specific shade of blue, we could take the hex code found at the bottom and enter it into our background at attribute inside quotation marks. We just need to remember to include the pound sign at the beginning of the code. Okay, let's take a look at how to add some new shapes to our canvas. We can use the command screen.createRectangle and note the coordinates of the top left corner and bottom right corner of our box to add a rectangle to the screen. Here, the top left corner of our rectangle is located at point 5050, and the bottom right corner is located at 350, 100. If we want the rectangle to be colored in, we use the attribute fill and note a color name or hex code. We can also use the attribute outline to change the outline color of the shape. If we want to create an oval or circle, we use screen.createOval and note the top left and bottom right corners of the box surrounding the shape. We can color the oval the same way as a rectangle, using the attributes fill and outline. If we use screen.createPolygon, we can see that a filled in shape is drawn when given multiple point locations. It is important to note that a polygon always defaults to being filled in black, whereas any shape we draw with the createLine function will just be the outline of the shape. There are some attributes we can use with any shape we draw. We've already seen the fill and outline attributes that will color the shape or the outline with a given color, but let's look at some more. The dash attribute will draw a line or the outline of the shape with dashes as noted by the numbers given. If one number is given, this will be the distance for each dash and space. If two numbers are given, the first number will be the length of the dash and the second will be the length of the space. The width attribute will control the thickness of the shape's outline and can be used in conjunction with the outline attribute to give a shape a thick colored border. Let's go to our code editor to use these functions and attributes to create some graphics. We're going to complete this exercise where we're being asked to draw the flag of Japan, which has a white background with a large red circle in the center. We are given some constant values and before we get to writing our program, Let's take a minute to plan. We know that when we draw a circle or oval, we need to give the coordinates of the top left hand and bottom right hand corner of the box surrounding the shape. So we'll first need to figure out exactly where this point should be located. Well, we know the entire canvas is 400 pixels wide, which means that it is 200 pixels to the center of the circle. If the circle has a radius of 100 pixels, we can subtract this value and find that the x value of this first point should be 100. Now let's figure out the y position of the point. If the height of the canvas is 300 pixels, then it would be 150 pixels to the center of the circle. And if the circle has a radius of 100 pixels, we can subtract these values to get a y value of 50 pixels. To get the coordinates of the second point, we would follow a similar process. We would add the 200 pixels to get to the center of the canvas to 100 pixels, which is the radius of the circle, to get an x coordinate of 300. And for the y value, we could add the 150 pixels from the top of the canvas to the center of the circle to the 100 pixels from the circle's radius and get a y coordinate of 250. Now that we have all the info we need, Let's go write this in the editor. You'll see that we're starting our program with a 400 by 300 canvas and using the BG attribute or background to change the background color to white. The next thing we need to do is draw our red circle onto our canvas. So we'll use the screen.createOval command and we'll input those values that we 
recently found. 150 is our first top left coordinate, and 300, 250 is the uh, values for our bottom right hand corner. Let's see how this looks. Perfect, so we have our circle, but we need it to now be red. So I can use the fill attribute and type red. And now my circle turns red, but I can still see a little black line on the outside. So I have two options. I can use outline equals red, and I'll see that now my outline will be red, or I can just leave outline blank, and that means no color will be added. Great work. One important thing to note is that your canvas, as your sizes get larger, it might go off the screen on the editor. One handy thing to know is that you can click Command or Control minus, and your screen will get a little smaller, where your canvas will now fit in a larger box on your editor. Now have fun creating your own Python graphics programs.